Hello ladies and gents, I'm Zephyr Victorious and welcome to No One Has to Die. So this is a game that uh, was actually recommended to me by a friend, so I decided to give it a shot. So let's see how this goes. I don't know much about this game. Uh, Phoenix Corporation Headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA 3 hours 17 minutes. Visitor has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Hello, is anyone there? What the hell is going on here? Christina has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. There's a fire. Everybody evacuate the building. Steve has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. Steve, why are you still here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working back late. Why do you care? Troy has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Lionel has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. This is the CEO of Phoenix Corporation telling everybody in the facility to evacuate the building. Security staff report in immediately. The security staff are dead. I found them lying dead in the control room. Then I saw a warning on this screen about a fire, so I logged in. What happened to them? I killed them, and I lit the fire. Oh, jeez. Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? There's no time for this now. Visitor, if you're in the control room, then you'll have to coordinate us in escaping. You'll need one of the security codes. Security codes? The code is RFTS. What? Is this some kind of game to you? Security code confirmed. Security system online. Beginning scan. Floor B3. It worked. Now you may have a very difficult choice coming up, I'm afraid. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B3. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates, Troy or Steve. What does that mean? Our visitor is going to have to choose between keeping me or Steve alive. I trust this won't be a hard decision. Kill that asshole. I'm not dying for him. My job here is done. I'm ready to die. The fire is growing. Visitor, you will be led through how the system works. Hurry up. Please enter your security system orders immediately. The chat system has been locked until your decision is made. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um... Go one turn without fire or water spreading to progress. Water will come from here. Water pumps. Okay. So let's see. So if I move him. I can't lock both doors, right? don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Music fixed. Uh, okay, so water's gonna keep that from going to her, but she's gonna drown next turn. This guy's dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, she's gonna die. That's what I thought. Okay. Let's try that again. So, if I get this guy up here and click that immediately, uh, she's still gonna die. One of these guys is gonna die. So, if I do that. And I don't wanna move her. Right? Yeah. Let's try that. Okay, so that protected her. If I turn that switch off now, what happens? Because that water will just keep the fire from moving. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Fire has been contained. Casualties, Troy. Phew, that was tense for a bit. Glad that's over. How can you talk like that when someone just died? He had this coming. He tried to kill us. Really? I'm pretty sure he just saved you. Not his best decision. Oh, ha. So you two know each other? Yep, me and Steve have had the misfortune of working together for the last few years. Tell me about it, Chris. Don't you wish you'd gotten to work in Troy's department instead? Shouldn't you two be looking for a way out? We're not all old like you. We can walk in tight, thank you very much. <laughs> The main hallway is completely destroyed by fire. I can't get through. I'm having the same problem. I found a staircase up to the next floor, though. Oh, same here. 
This one's here too. There's one here too. Shall we head up? Sure, why not? Okay, I'm heading up now. Beginning scan for B2. Our visitor's being very quiet. What's your story? Me? I don't work here. I was just making a delivery. A delivery? Let me guess. Tires? Pop-up books? No, stationary. Those were some strange guesses, though. What exactly do you do here? You know, that's a great question. What do we do here, Lionel? I know you got that message, Lionel. Forget it. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, no one really knows what Phoenix Corporation actually does. But you work there. The company buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk, and then sells it all off for next to no profit. We're all almost certain it's a front. But it pays well, so we stay here. Well, Christina works here because no one else wants her, but that's different. Ooh. How about you shut up while I ask Lionel a serious question? I want to know about the cockatiels. Cockatiels? Oh, the cockatiel story. For nearly a year, we've been constantly getting in shipments of live cockatiels by the thousands. God knows how many birds they bought. But the cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. Whoa, that is weird. What's going on, Lionel? You're buying cockatiels looking for a phoenix. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. That didn't even answer the question. <laughs> Has anyone found anything interesting on the second floor? Nope. Nothing much here. Most of this building is reserved for storage. Shouldn't you guys all know your way around this building? Our access to the rooms here is very limited. That would be on your request, wouldn't it, Lionel? Truth be told, I rarely visit myself. I know what facilities this building contains, but I know very little about its layout. That's right, it's been in the notices for weeks that you were coming today. Was today something special? I was just dealing with some financial business, nothing that could have encouraged arson. Sure about that? Calculations complete. Fire on floor B2, one casualty unavoidable. Candidates Lionel and Steve. No! God dang it, not again! Either Lionel or Steve is going to die. As a CEO of this corporation, I must request that you save me. Don't you dare, please save Steve. I don't know why this fire was started, but you can be sure Lionel's responsible in some way. But Steve's done nothing wrong. It's great to hear you stick it up for me for once, Chris, but our visitors already saved me once. It's their choice what they do this time around. Visitor, my life is in your hands. Make the right decision. Save me. You will be well compensated. This isn't about money, you asshole. <laughs> Shut up, both of you. It's getting hot in here. This is up to our visitor. Please enter your secure- okay. I don't like this. I don't like having this kind of power. Okay. Let's make the decision about whether or not everybody's gonna die. And I see why. Okay. So this turns... Okay, so lock that for sure. Uh, I can't lock that one. Um... Okay, let's see. Ugh, this music is so intense, it's making it hard to think. Okay, I'm gonna go... Okay, so from what I've been told, there's multiple endings to this game, which is obvious because you can save different people. So... So... I think I'm gonna end up doing multiple playthroughs of this, just because I want to see how everything goes. So we're already getting... So we've already saved Steve once, so it'd be kind of a waste to kill him now. So we'll save Steve. Oh, just kidding, I can't. Wait, can I do that on the next one? Okay. Oh, no. Wait, wait, no, don't do that. Okay. This doesn't make sense, because if I can do this, okay, then I can lock this one and save her from the fire, or I can lock this one and save him from the water. And I don't understand why that's different. Because now I can't do this. They're both gonna die. There's no way around that. Because I can't change this now. I 
I mean, except for the fact that now... Oh, there we go. Got it. Fire has been contained. Casualties, Lionel. Good. Now who's being insensitive? That was the head of our company, Chris. And you chose me over him, visitor? Don't ask me to explain my choices. It makes me sick thinking about what I just had to do. How do you think I feel? I didn't get a choice. What if I wanted to die to save Lionel? God dang, man. As if you would ever sacrifice yourself for anyone. And you would? No, but at least I'm up front about it. <laughs> oh, I found a set of stairs. I'm gonna head on up. I'm already on the next floor. I just didn't bother saying anything about it. That's a great story. Okay. So you think we get paid overtime for this crap? I don't know. Barely matters, though. Time and a half of what we make is still next to nothing. Maybe- I thought they said it paid well. Maybe Troy set the fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts recently. God, do you have any clue? Wait until we get out of here before you start making jokes about the deceased. Hey, I could be right for all you know. That guy was whack. It wouldn't take much to set him off. No, just stop. I mean it. You know, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in the room with two dead bodies. Whoa, I've forgotten too. That's awful. What could you find out about them? I guess I should probably search them, huh? I really don't want to, though. Ugh, good luck. You must have a stronger stomach than me. Okay, I'll go look now. Back. I found a blue file in the hand of one of them. Really, what does it say? It's the security code, the one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you surprised, Chris? It would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he give us the code anyway? What does he get out of it? I don't get it either. Why shoot two people, set a building on fire, and then try to play the hero? It makes no sense to me. Why don't we ask him? Oh, whoops. No, it's not funny. Hey, simple mistake. Chris? Chris! You sure managed to get yourself ignored a lot. Eh, I wasn't all that fussed on talking to her anyway. You too. Okay. No. Oh, I don't want to have to pick between these two. No, no! Chris! I thought I was gonna make it. There's only one more floor to ground level. You're getting out of here, Chris. There's no way I'm letting you die. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. You're not sacrificing yourself for me. Chris, you know I don't mean any of the crap I said, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. You don't need to die to prove that. Good. Then I'm ready. Steve, no. You don't deserve to die. No one deserves to die, Chris. Especially not you. You're not going to ignore me now, are you? I just don't know what to say. How about goodbye? Whatever happens, this is the last time we'll ever talk to each other. This isn't how I wanted things to go. Do you think I want to die? You don't understand. I'm sorry, you two. If I don't do something now, you'll both die. It's alright, I'm ready now. It'll be like a barbecue. Oh god. Shut up, you're not gonna die, is he, visitor? Our, visitors no our visitor knows what they're doing. They'll save you. Visitor, promise me you'll save him. Promise me! Jeez! Uh... God. Okay. How do I do this? Because I gotta hit the switch. And... She can't hit a switch anyway. What is the purpose of this? There's no- there's no way for Chris to survive this. None. She can't hit a switch. I guess she wouldn't have to hit a switch. Um... He could hit the switch and then die, but she would die first. Actually, wait. If he hit the switch fast enough... If you hit it now... And then if I stopped it right now, Christina or Chris would survive. But do I want to do that? God, this game. Uh Okay. So let's see. I did already say that I was going to do the Steve ending. So Yeah, we'll do the Steve ending. Even though I really, really don't like this. 
Oh shoot, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I messed it up. Break. Because even if I do this, the fire is still gonna move. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. No, 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 that was a bad idea. Okay, wait. So I've got the option of... I'm gonna have to save Chris. There's no way to not save Chris. There's no way for both of them to survive. There is actually physically no way for them to serve both of them to survive. Or for me to get Steve anyway. I can't figure out how to get Steve. Okay, cause this then. Yeah, he's dead. And the fire can't move, so I have to save her. I don't know how to get- how to save Steve. No. I'm so sorry. No, it's not fair. Why would you save me? I had to listen to one of you. You don't understand. He never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, he did. Troy and Lionel and Steve, they all died because of me. The security guards, too. Visitor, this is all my fault. I lit the fire. No, you didn't. Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't know what his deal is. Was. I set the fire, then I killed the guards before they could do anything about it. From the start, this was all me. Christina, you know it wasn't really you, it was Troy. If it was Troy, why was he trying to save us all? I don't know. No one does. This isn't how it was meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be nearly empty. Let's say you did it. What was your motive? I wanted to stop whatever was going on in this building forever. And I wanted to kill Lionel before he ruined anyone else's life too. What did Lionel do? Him and his company. They killed my mother. What? My mother used to work at this company. She had the same name as me. She never told me much about what they did here. She always just said, experiments. Well, one day she went to work and never came back. We ordered a search, but no one could find her. It was a week before we got a con call from the Phoenix Corporation. They told us they were so sorry and that my mom had died in an experiment. Sorry, my ass. They still wouldn't tell us what happened. And then, when they sent back her body... They sent back her body with her brain cut out. Oh god. They cut out her brain so they could experiment on it. They killed my mother so they could look at her brain. Christina, I'm so sorry. I couldn't let them get away with anything like that ever again. So I started working here at the company. They knew who I was, but I think they gave me a job to shut me up. Since then, I've spent god knows how long trying to find out what they did to my mother. But I haven't gotten anywhere. When I read in the notices that Lionel was going to be visiting today, I knew I had to do something. But I thought I worked out the timing perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working overtime. And now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Nothing's gonna help. I'll just keep moving through this building. And when I get out, I'll be arrested. And I'll finally get what I deserve. Okay. Alright, I'm on the ground floor now. To be honest, I still have no idea where I am. Most of this building is off limits normally. We take elevators down to our workspaces on floor B3 and we never see the rest of the building. What a weird way to do things. It makes sense when you remember they're trying to hide the skeletons in their closet. Oh, there's a blue file on a desk in here. Looks like the one you found on the security guard. Another one? What's the point of that? It has a different code on it. Maybe this will let you lock more fire doors at a time. But if I'd had that earlier... I don't even want to think about this. I'm going to keep moving. No fire detected. Hold on a sec, there's a big metal door I need to open. Alright. Okay, I'm through now. There's a sign here, it says Tempest Entrance. What's that? No clue. There's a door here though. It looks kind of strange. I'm gonna go through. Sure, just tell me what you find. What? No, we were so close, why would it drop out now? Christina! Christina, I'm coming to find you. What? Okay, so I got the Christina end. Mystery is not yet solved. You must explore all possibilities to find the truth. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that was good, though. That was good. 
I don't like having to make choices like that, but that was good. Ugh. Okay. Okay. I really liked that. Frickin' moral dilemma, though. Jeez. <sighs> well, that was a really good game. I'm definitely gonna go back and get all the different endings and see what the heck is going on. So, yeah. So this was No One Has to Die. Um, if you guys want to play this game for yourself and get all the endings, you can totally do that. Uh, I'll leave a link to the game in the description below. But as always, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!